big items up, so... Puck is, I don't know, Puck to me is just a pretty standard S4 mid hero. Tempo controller, look out for those F S4 haste runes and then he's gonna go for those ganks when he can. He, he did one one time, I heard something about a million dollar dream coils. Well, I guess he's pretty good with the yeah, hero, it's yeah. not a big deal whatsoever. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, I had my facial on the whole time, I wasn't trying to cheat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> alright. <laughs> But, you know, I, I'm loving the burst potential right there, and of course, EG, they get a hold of uh, Classic Razor, which they have notorious heavy usage with in TI4, so a well-versed hero. It's very, it's very vanilla right now. Do we, do we really need to be looking this much at us right now? Can I please just see the game? I know I look terrible. I, I mean, Bruno, Bruno basically said, man, you got to own up, own up to this. I'm just, I'm embracing this it now. This is your fault? Yeah. This is all you, buddy. <laughs> You're the maker. <laughs> and Gurg over here, freaking blaze. <laughs> just hanging out, but now now we're looking at the last and final He's grabs after banning out the five, AA six, on the side of Evil Geniuses in secret. They had gotten rid of that Witch Doctor that was said so much before. Mm -hmm. What is going to bring this home here for Evil Geniuses? I'm anticipating Centaur Warrunner. <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised the Skyrath hasn't been found out yet, though. The Skyrath Mage seems really good with the potential Void Legion setup. And yeah, I'm not seeing it banned out, so I mean, that seems like that would be the follow through they're looking for. ET Skyrath isn't bad, the Kong shot should be able to set up a stomp here and there, and yeah, they really lack damage. Like, the Puck is a controller, the Elder Titan is an amplifier, and they just, they need the follow through. Ten so the damage three. output from Skyrath is, I think, what they're they're looking for here. But I mean, it, it, it's so funny just to see a Faceless Void picked up so early and a Skyrath Mage not there shortly after. Exactly. I mean, had this been the qualifier, it would have been like a no-brainer, something we would call that every time, but they're not going to go with that, it's Marana! Lady oh. Marana, my lady. Yeah, I okay. think they're going to be pretty hard-pressed to get kills here. I mean, obviously they have tons of Disable. They have Chronospheres, they have Arrows, Dream Coils, Duels. They have a lot of ways to lock somebody in position, uh, force them into inaction. But when it comes down to it, they need to net the kills to be able to snowball the puck and move the Legion Commander into the mid-game. So I honestly think that EG might be able to manage that, though I am quite surprised that they picked the Centaur into the puck. The Stampede, not great against Dream Coil. And I as we've mentioned, S4 is extremely on point when it comes to yeah. using his ultimate. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. And, and Puppy getting his Marana, which he once loved many a time. Uh, just expect him to be constantly on the move, having that pressure, making life difficult for Arteezy's Razor. How are you feeling right now, Gods, besides the fact of embarrassment? How do you feel about the uh, draft? I'm not even embarrassed. I feel great. You're just owning up to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm had my tea. I haven't, I haven't got my beer yet. I don't know what Ted's up to, but... How much it's liquor was in that tea? <laughs> to get you to do this. No comment. <laughs> it is what it is. And Next to make question. things worse, to make things even worse, delicious smells of I American have... chicken or something is just is wafting this, is through Chick -fil -A the air. Day? Is that Chick-fil-A? Oh, we're missing out on fresh, delicious, Ooh. greasy food. That would oh. make me feel better. Look yeah. at look at my high waters right there. Great. Oh, take it all in. Drink it in. I'm gonna be sick. Blaze. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ugh. Ben Ben Wu was like, I can't cast with you. I will just be too distracted. It won't work. It's not happening. Yeah, so. my depth perception's you know blocked <laughs> by my wig. So thank goodness. <laughs> Here uh, we go. So the game has started right now already. The board going to be placed there at the top. It's Universe going to be playing the Sven, mind you. We were questioning how it's going to work out, and it is going to be PPD. It is going to be a support Lena. A uh, couple of audible plays, I'd imagine, right there, but of course, Zai playing his classic, Go classic Nima, and I guess to round out Age of the Geniuses while we're talking about it, Fear is going to be playing a core centaur, which has been done a couple of times. I know a big, significant uh, performance by their Black loves to play centaur as a core, and it can be yeah. so dominant if you get that early farm. I, I like it better th in this game as a core than the, the Sven in some ways, because I think they're going to be much more aligned on just the constant gank train, which they're looking with. When you've got burst damage of Alina, you've got a Razor who can get some early fights as well, like you want to just kind of go in that gank train, which a Blink Sven can do, but Sven doesn't have the same burst damage of a Centaur, so... Mm. Wow, that nice looks great attempt. Uh, it looks uh, kind of like fishing for a kill here. Like, I don't think that they're actually going to be able to get much with those early LSAs without the Sven involved, yeah. or at least the Enigma. And uh, they're going to get invaded pretty hard. I'm this, is a, this is a dire side Mirana. Uh, definitely not as good on the dire side as you are on the Radiant. It's a lot harder to get those arrows towards mid lane from dire. That Lena set. Can we just take a moment right now? Right. It's like Mary Poppins right there. The lady, uh, <laughs> the Lena set that was ridiculous. I've never okay. seen a hat like that. Is it the the Chinese has, New like, Year one? I think. Is it was it the Chinese no, one? It looked like she had a little like top hat thing. I mean, I wish the ops could hear me and we could look at it, but it is what it is. But more importantly, Puppy getting caught. Yeah, yeah, out that's with the, the, uh, the. Look at that thing. The Chinese New Year one. The bright moon. That's ridiculous. It's pretty cool. Very cool. Very festive. 
And the thing is, Puppy can't really fight the lean. Puppy wants to get into the Radiant Jungle because it's a lot easier to arrow mid lane over the trees from the Radiant Jungle. But Lena can keep Puppy out of there because it's level one Mirana. You don't have a leap, you have arrow. You can't actually escape or fight Lena. Lena also has high base movement speed, so Puppy's going to find it tricky to get kills on mid because you can only throw arrows from above and then you don't have the tree line to hide your arrows. It's all about using the trees to hide your arrows, which at this point you can't really do. He's going to have to go on a big kind of loop-de-loop -loop walk around to get any kind of good line for arrows. I'm a little worried about Universe here. The last time we saw him just solo the offlane, he yeah. got absolutely destroyed, trading hits with a Bane constantly. Yeah. Now he doesn't have as hard of a support to deal with, but the fact is his first ward that he Ooh, dropped down mid. Did He's get Puppy's got the line now. He can actually fire arrow over the trees. Oh, oh what a behind the back play, yeah. man! Beautiful setup right there, and yeah. Artizi's in trouble. That's what we were expecting out of the draft. Just make Artizi's life a living hell, and they are I, so far. I don't know why. I think Artizi's position there isn't good. He should know that Mirana's not in his own jungle. The only place Mirana can go is exactly where Mirana was. Like loop through the secret shop to get there. He should not be hugging those trees. He needs to position himself away from those kind of trees on the like the above his tower. Yeah. So I think that was actually bad positioning from Artizi. Sure, it, it's it's a small thing, but it's a thing you have to kind of be aware of is where Mirana can throw that arrow from and. It wasn't coming from the south side, so you you hug the trees on the south because Mirana's not arrowing from there. Oh, they actually might be able to stomp here. They have the haste and Artesia is so oh far forward. The stomp is going to come through. No way to avoid it. Oh. And the arrow oh. will follow up. Beautiful play no. from Puppy and No Tail. And they're going to bring down Artesia again. These kills are so huge. The Razor, he wants to tank up. He wants to get more farm to be able to survive throughout the team fights. And right now it's the supports that are getting the gold away from him. So they get the cash. They're going to be able to actually put out a large amount of damage in these next. 10 minutes, and Razor is going to be sitting on just basic bracers, Aquila-type items for a very long time. Yeah. Beautiful execution. If you had to YouTube how to properly make a gank happen and have that as a YouTube clip, it'd yeah. be just perfect. The haste runes certainly helps, <laughs> though. <laughs> the Imba haste runes. Everyone wants, everyone wants haste runes nerfed here. That's all I keep hearing is nerf haste runes. But... We'll see what the plan's going to be here. Big Daddy no tail going to miss this one. And Puppy's once again lingering around this pesky secret shop area. He, he was in range for an arrow top, but didn't actually hit the stomp first. He knows every little nook and cranny in these trees, just where those yeah. perfect arrows can fly on through that you'll never see coming. Yeah, and I think he's probably thinking, like, is going to be expecting it at mid lane. Cranny right top. there. Yeah. Like, you see it coming, it is daytime, but Universe may not be ready for it. You may be thinking, okay, they're focusing on TZ, they're going to keep doing that. Yeah, and also your camera position. You're often looking at where the ETC might be coming yep. from. You're looking at, of course, the oh. faces void. All right, uh, Puppy, once again, going for... This is this is the really good line. This yeah. one's hard to see. Yeah. S4 needs to push the lane out for it to work well, oh, but... Up the shot. Can we see it happening right now, uh, Puppy? Digging deep? It's The lane's too pushed out. The problem is, it's going to be... You, you kind of see too much vision of it coming through, so maybe waits for night time. <laughs> maybe waits for, for it, it to push out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is... I mean, Look at this sky cam right here, just to make sure. Oh. The one. Ooh, this could actually be the arrow setup. S4 rank to the rune. Doesn't he's got damage. no damage. Yeah. yeah, even if the arrow was five yeah. seconds, it the wouldn't net a go. Oh, they still win for it, but it does catch. Oh. Wow, that hitbox right there catches him on the backhand yep. side. Followed through from Big Tail. Extra bit of lockdown, and look at that. A little bit of that showcase picture on picture action as we get to see the death once more. The third time this game of Arteezy. Yeah. Oh, too feedy for Arteezy. Uh, Arteezy, this is, for a player like him, to shake this one off, that's, that's going to take a lot. Yeah. He's on tilt. I think it's safe oh, to say. Oh, man. This is a really important game, though. He's got to be able to shake right. that one. And you figure that Lena might be mo a little bit more involved. I mean, being able to kind of go for the counter ganks, at least drop an LSA when they're clumping on top of them. There are, is a lot of potential avoidable deaths here, not just because of Arteezy's positioning, but because of the passivity of the supports. Just focusing on the high attack range Lena to zone him out, and looks like we have a fight on our hands. Yeah, yep. Arteezy got hit, hit but uh, not going to be any follow-up, so... All right, things will settle down, but... Uh, Zyza Enigma jungling pretty well, should have a decent time when he's level 6. Uh, he's about to hit now at 5 minutes in, which is kind of your standard time for level 6. And uh, he's going to be rushing the mech. Zyza Enigma needs to get a lot done, because he's the one who's been given that free farm jungle lane while Arteezy gets pressured. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully when Fear throws together, gets a hold of uh, a little more mobility, and they start going on the front. They're thinking about right the now. They're going to get the LSA. Fear, can he catch on go. up? Yep, got it. Stun one, stun two. I don't know if they can. A little bit of burst arrow. Oh, the back step. The heal. Ooh. Some 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 I weirdo back there said the centaur set was terrible. It's ac what is this? Uh, Oh, mid Fear needs to reconsider his life decisions when he made, chose this set. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Oh, he actually. Oh, he goes down again. Oh, 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 oh. 
very nice Puppy grab. though. Yeah. I, oh, he's like really good. Oh, he's got it now. Oh. Malefus oh. is not gonna bring him down. Oh, oh man. Oh man. But Arteezy okay. again. This is this is so rough right now. Yeah. Mid lane is a war zone right now, especially for Secret's favor. Yeah, it's nice that they got the puck, but because Arteezy doesn't get a single chunk of that gold or experience, it's just it's really brutal for him. He has just got the least amount of momentum. And honestly, Razor is one of those heroes that I wouldn't call him a snowball, but if he's doing this poorly, like it's just gonna go from bad to worse. He is not yeah. gonna be able to participate in the fights in the mid game. He's gonna be giving away dual damage, and uh, it's just gonna go worse from there. Yeah, he's just gonna go like cheap tanky items. Get your treads, start farming up. Like get your ogre club asap. Like he's there's no, let's go play super aggressive. It's gonna come down to the enigma, as well as the Sven. Uh, sorry, not the Sven, the uh, Centaur. He's the one here we haven't really seen or talked about too much. But Centaur, when he gets that kind of 10 minute ish blink timing, has to make some plays happen and try and punish Secret's kind of kind of slightly greedier lineup. Ooh, nice little deny right there. Artizi taking that 50 gold back. Yeah, like a, a farm razor could kill and punish Big Daddy No Tail right there. That would be so easy for him to yeah. at least force an echo stomp as well as taking half his HP. But Arteezy is just so far behind, and it's nighttime against a Barana. You just don't get to manage. I'm actually curious what the supports levels are right now because, as we see, the Enigma is getting farmed up very well in the jungle. Almost has the mechanism up, but we do see this move on Simba. Yeah, should be a fairly straightforward kill. No TPs, and Simba's got high HP. He's actually taking a long time to be brought down then. Well, apparently when you see these kills in two different angles, this is like some full ESPN shit going on here. I know, right? I mean, give me the sports bar right now. Yeah. Tell me how the last game went <laughs> with the highlights already. The top ten. <laughs> Just might as well take it to that level while we're at it. Here we go, though. Puppy, who had yet to even know what it's like to kill a creep, yep. <laughs> is, uh, you know... Look, more ambitious about he, moving he around the map. Heroes. And, let's, let's yeah, be but real that's here. what's yeah, of course. But that's what's matter. You know, he's he's adding the pressure all over and just causing a headache in each lane. Like, where's that puppy gonna oh, be? And you know gonna be? the arrow. Yeah, oh. it is. Woo! I can feel it coming. Nope, we needed the other. Oh, oh, the arrow's a creep. creep. Oh, whoop! Valiant creep body Turn around that now. One. <laughs> oh dear, no black hole unfortunately. But Kuro, gonna get brought down low. Time walk will be up in time. They won't get any count kills, which is unfortunate. I thought that was gonna be at least something going EG's way. Uh, it's still okay because they didn't lose anyone, and Chrono yeah, gets used. Just a little that. bit awkward. It looked like a th that was the opportunity to get a counter kill. Like yeah. even though the uh, the net result is, eg, force out a Chronosphere, don't lose anyone, which on yeah. paper sounds good. It was just such a good opportunity to get that TP in and, and kill. I imagine at some point this Legion Commander and we need to throw together that Blink Dagger for herself, and then we could see her go a little bit more aggressive outside of this lane and try to bring in that dual damage because that would yeah. significantly help in the late game having that extra bit of you know bonus muscle power, the testosterone levels in this lady. So I'm trying to think of what the Le the Lena has accomplished in this game here. Obviously the long range auto attacks, you can put a little more pressure on the Legion, but Legion's still got level 6, decent bit of farm here at 28 CS, and I mean that's going to enable him to still be very active with a hero 2 behind him. The arrow, the uh, astral spirit, those will follow through, and he's going to be able to get a couple duels within the next few minutes. Yeah. Well. I, I mean, for me, Lena, it's like, it could have been another support hero, let's say, but like, what what other support hero could have done more? Either way, you're a solo support with a jungle enigma. You're not going to be able to do, apply a lot of pressure. Maybe a defensive support like an Earthshake or an Ogre who can sit mm. behind, protect that easy mid. But Lena can kind of do that as well. Just you're not quite as tanky. You don't have the same ability to contest runes. Me, Vanguard, oh, pick the fear, but there's a duel breaking out, which I can see an arrow. It's going to land right oh, there. Far, far too He's tanky. got Vanguard. That Vanguard, Vanguard I was just oh, The question God. is actually... Awesome right here, yeah. and he's able to just walk away like the beefcake he is. Well, good thing Melini's not here to cast this game. He would be <laughs> pulling he out his work. hairs with these yeah. van this Vanguard, but... <laughs> hey, well, it, it works there. Way I was about to be like, you know, instead of going for your, yeah. you know, head rush towards a Blink Dagger, and, well, we see it right there. Had he had a Blink Dagger, that would have been a very different story, but he's able to walk away from that one, and... EG would have been struggling, but at the start here, still continue to walk oh. away. That bird gonna block that one, but Zai gets caught with Ooh. that coil and blown the hell up. Zai did four. I guess his mech was on courier, maybe, or maybe he just hadn't quite finished it. Yeah, it was on. The, it was at base still, so he didn't. Actually, I was like, okay, maybe it's gonna mech up and be fine here, but not the case. Yeah, but once he gets that, it's gonna be a, a good turning point for EG. We talked about it in the draft, but Secret don't really have that much damage. They've got amplification, they've got setup and control. But as far as actually getting the kills, they're relying on Kuro to get a ton of farm. So when that mech comes out, maybe the Vanguard turns into a Crimson. They're going to be giving themselves the survivability they need to make it so that Secret keep a, a sub-10 kill count for the next 15 minutes. All right. Well, we'll see. I, I feel like EG, at the same time, like they've got the damage there, but they haven't got 
the good initiation. They haven't got the Centaur Blink. They haven't got Lena, who's oh, level 6. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm, he's he's kind of ringing around right there. And also, Arteezy not farmed. So, I mean, EG's lineup, in theory, should have more damage at this stage of the game. They just, they're kind of struggling in the laning stage. Secret's definitely won the lanes. Mm. Now we'll have to see if they can kind of go on to win the mid game as well. Universe is only level 5 now, just hit it. So he's going to be looking, oh, phase shift dodge oh. on the Storm Amber. That's a wow. lot of wasted. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, Thanks, LD. <laughs> and Ashley. <laughs> Quick cameo. Oh, uh, man, but yeah, that's that's a bit morally defeating. And now you have to take the long walk of shame back to base. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to rely on blink, ancient so. stacks a ton to actually get back in this game. Yeah, absolutely. And even Sento can farm ancients, or like at least neutral stacks pretty well with Vanguard and Return. Even just the single point, it's not bad. Oh, but uh, B is going to go off no arrow. Will they get it uh, this time? Yeah. Now, boy. Arrow's going to connect. Yeah, he's done. And man, oh, man. Yep. No pesky creeps this time. <laughs> well, for EG, like, Centaur goes top of the drum tank, he'll take over this, create some space in the safe lane for other cores to farm, and doesn't really make much of it. So, we'll see them kind of look to trade their tier 1 towers, which often happens around this kind of 15 minute stage of the game. But, Secret have a pretty good defense, just with Legion Command at bottom, he can stall so well with overwhelming odds, that just takes out the other ones so fast. TP points a DD, certainly would help in a skirmish if they can have one right here and they're looking for something top it looks like Stampede is going to lead out the charge they're going to get a hold of at least the Elder Titan and burst down Big Daddy immediately they want more that's not enough to satisfy their thirst and they're rushing for Kuroki but Kuroki's already gone Puck has the Blink Dagger here so he can do a little bit of counter pushing without much risk obviously if you're popping the Stampede already there's not going to be too much initiation against them so uh, while you were talking about Legion down bottom, Puck's going to be able to clear out the waves decently enough as well, and it's going to be a slow push if it's going to be one at all. Actually, TP coming in from Radiant's Big Daddy No-Tail. Here it is. Are they going to already go for a fight of their own? Shoving him back quite a bit, but... They're back out. He's scouting him out, yeah. and that's enough to... No Enigma here. They way. do not want to fight without Enigma. Yeah. And Razor at the secret shop. How easy. Could be careful, man. You're up there alone. And meanwhile, LC just gets the free farm down bottom, so that's yeah. going to be nice for him. Uh, Kuro will try to counter push out this wave. Doesn't have any like maelstrom or anything like that, just the mom for now. So it's not going to be an easy hold for him solo, but they'll get some rotations, and they should be able to keep their tier ones alive for a little bit longer. Yeah. Already a uh, decent amount of farm on Kuro, though. He's top of the net worth. Mask of Madness treads, and some chunk of change to spare for his next item. Probably you see the Maelstrom. Yeah, Maelstrom, yeah. or you think he's going to go right for it? At some point, yeah. he stops off for uh, a BKB this game? Yeah, I think Maelstrom is BKB, Mjolnir. Maybe even goes Mjolnir before the BKB, but definitely the Maelstrom, and then you go into your defensive items. And Uh-oh. Blink, Coil, catches, Universe, big trouble. Earth Splitter flies on out. He does sidestep that one, and he's just trying to hold it up for now because rotations have come. Yeah. Zai's there, but right. there's going to be no setup for any sort of glorious black hole. No, uh, oh, mid lane meanwhile. Oh. Chronosphere on Artur. And Artur Bababevsky yeah. goes down. Puppy brilliant KS with that arrow. <laughs> <laughs> nice timed. G he's gives him some farm too. Obviously they want more coming out from the run of this game than just like a full staff of 40 minutes. So he's going to be able to move up in the world a little bit here. Still, oh he's got three last hits so choosing some squirrels as well as some bucks as far as his prey here. But uh, when it comes down to it, I'm, I'm really looking for the Legion Commander to, to disable the Enigma in the team fights. Now that he has the mech, the black hole, he is their target priority. If they take him out, they take easily a full tower on the back of that and just continue to build momentum while the Razor is down. Yep. Well, he's not really getting much done this game. We'll see again, S4 just keep blinking on the universe. Ow. It's not even about getting the kill, as you can see. He doesn't commit. He just moves him out of the lane, zones him out essentially, and says, well, look. Even if I use all my spells, I've got a bottle, I've got all this sustain, you don't. And if you leave yeah. this lane, we take your tower. Yeah, and you're forcing him to spend the 100 gold of his TP back to the base, the long time away from the lane, the potential farm, you know, it's not that far oh. off from just killing him, but here we go. Pressure continues to mount here. It is actually going to connect the sleeping oh, the arrow stuff. timing right there, and they do end up taking him down. We just didn't want to show your eyes. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Where's the backup? He's oh. got none. TPs, please, anyone. They're just not there, not the ready and available because they're getting caught up in the mid lane at well. All right, they got Legion. All right, so two for two, I guess, when it's all said and done is not yeah. too shabby. Yeah. 
That was just hard. That was all over the place. What was the picture on picture? Yeah. That one, guys. We had top lane and mid lane. We had full action. We got it the picture in just... picture with like two <laughs> camera angles on like one play, and then when two plays are going at once, no picture in picture. It's... We want to make sure that we get the, the main screen yeah. and also some cosmetic play over here in the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they're clearly the first time picking it up, and they're working out the... We, uh... we literally <laughs> just plugged in a cable this morning. We're like, hey, let's do this. And let's give it a shot. Clearly no one knows what's going on. A, <laughs> a lot of theory crafting about it, but yeah. implementation yeah. still needs Execution work. needs yeah, exactly. All right, warm-up <laughs> game, boys. <laughs> it is for, <laughs> for the observers as well as it's EG. Too late it feels to call like. the warm-up game though for EG. This yeah. is game two, and they're still not looking that good right now. Five to nine, and <laughs> very salty. This salt coming. This salt is real right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great, brilliant. Of course. Thank you, thank you. Let's gurg it out while we go ahead and yeah. watch this one here. Is uh, all right. So the Just Sindar still doesn't have to blink right now. Like, Fear was not able to stop Legion from last hitting the Tier 1 tower because he didn't have a blink dagger. And uh, it's obviously even after Legion kill, he's still a little ways off. So Vanguard is great, as we mentioned, for surviving through this. The damage block does persist through Kurno since the nerf in 6.82, but mm. end of the day, it's, it still needs mobility more than just the Stampede, because we've seen Kurno and Dream Coil do wonders against that ability, and it actually might be a death of Zion Mate. Oh, he's, he's very far forward and walking right he's into no He land. just went down two. With oh, the this up arrow. Oh. He is able to avoid that one in the Stampede. Oh my God. Could a Chrono? I think he thought maybe there'd be a jewel coming in, or I think he was hoping for a bash. Any of those two right clicks of his bashes, then you get in range for a jewel. So, bit unlucky, but at the same time, if Secret won that kill, all they do was Chrono. Yeah, maybe they didn't quite know that EG were cold by or not. If Artis no. shows us how the Chrono gets a nice link off it, right there, soaks up some sweet early it's damage. It's still like you kill the Enigma, you're gonna, you're gonna be fine. Like you can yeah. get out. Enigma's their mech carrier. Everyone else has almost no farm. You kill him with a Chrono, you back off, there's no risk there, I'd say. Uh, maybe as with the Centaur Stampede, you lose one squeaky hero like an Elder Tide or Mirana who doesn't have good escape, but yeah, it's, it's okay. They play it safe, they back off. Yeah. He's, he's, he's feeling a bit prudy with yeah, his Chrono yeah. here for now, it's okay. He's farming well, he's, there we go, Centaur Blink though, so... Fear. So, Gods, you play a lot of Enigma while trying to avoid BKB for an extended period of time. That just seems well, to be your general build. Now we're seeing Zy go for it in this game, up against yep. all these abilities that go right through it. How do you feel about that? Um, I, th I think in, like, competitive games, it's very needed. Like, the way, when I when I play it a ton, it's always, like, split push Rat Dota, avoid mm. team fights, get solo black holes, but I think in game like, more organized games, you BKB is pretty core on him. Pro games, yeah. Better better games. Not your, not I, your new games. I play shitty 5K MMR pub games, so yeah. You're this is that's not real Dota. <laughs> Puppy does get caught out, and they take on the little flimsy Marana. Though she's built up a lot of kills in the early game, she's still very, very weak, and you know is very susceptible to being caught out and bursted down very fast. Yeah. So scores six to nine. Yep. Giggity. Yeah. So there's a lot to kills that you've got Jewel, Chrono, of course. Um, but there's so much that also will cancel Black Hole and kill Zai that's not going through Chrono. So if you force a Chrono for a duel and you die, I mean, you want to be ideally avoiding it, but um, from Zai's point of view, he just doesn't want to be able to get oh, solo. Oh, he won't be prudy this time, guys. Yeah. He's got down the big ball right there. Right. Moonlight Shadow is just going to be helping him on the quick hit and run escape. As Artizzi going on the hunt. even ball, the Stampede for this one, though. Uh oh, there we go. No they backtrack. I probably just has level one backtrack, so I wasn't getting any good RNG out of that one. Oh, <laughs> jump in redemption! He's got a max actually. Very nice okay. coming out. Max backtrack. Oh wow. Oh, bad RNG. nice duel right there to finish off old man Fearin. He's gonna s and bring in that little okay. bit of bonus. Was that the first duel victory of the game? Uh, uh, first victory, yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. So he gets that bonus damage right there. Very nice. Oh, and now, overwhelmed. Oh now. man, they're just sweeping yeah. on through him. That's what you take out just one EG here with that Chronosphere. You, you've got a farm advantage. You can win the ensuing fight even without your Chronosphere for the rest of the EG lineup. Lena's not doing too much. Sento is really the big kind of tanky problem, but he made just he made quick mince meat in that fight. Yeah, and I mean, Universe isn't going to be able to like follow it up with any damage anytime soon. He's going to have a Mask of Madness eventually, but still Warcry level 1 as he's going for that cleave build to get his farm back up. It's going to yeah. be hard for him to actually confidently initiate him fights, to jump in with the Mask of Madness active and not assume because he's going to die two seconds oh, later. Oh, wow. And I pulse right in oh. the Zai, he's still by himself though, I, and uh... I don't know. The communication seems to be... Arrow, no arrow, that was either way a questionable black hole. There was, there was no follow up. It was very ambitious, but the follow through wasn't They're quite as close up, as they were they hoping. They want to make something of it, but the haste rune on S4 might elude them. There's, there's no fighting into the S4 haste rune. 
Arrow gonna go flying through. Actually, Arrow to Roche. All right. They don't have Chronosphere up just yet here. Ten seconds to go. But yeah. They, they know they're will not gonna have invade it. in time. Yeah. Yeah. They have the ward there. They de they also dewarded. This is Roche two times so. over. The Rocheception happening right here before your eyes and oh, bottom lane. PG, yep. who have no idea this is happening right now, already on uh, a build of the tilted path, I guess you could say. They're going to see this Roche death pop up, and it's going to be hard. Yeah. Okay. Void and where do you in. go from here? I mean, you're up against an Aegis Void. They've got all their ultis up. They have the severe farm advantage. And the only core that's gotten any relevant farm is this Centaur. And it's just, unfortunately, a hero that after you get the Blink Dagger doesn't go for much else. You gotta do some just pick and run plays, I think, over and over again. Rinse, repeat, smoke gank, find a pick off on a core hero like a Void, or, well, Void's got Aegis, so it's the Puck or the Legion, and then get the hell out of there, because if there's a team fight, you lose it. So, I think all EG can do is try find pick offs here or there, and not, and try and stall any pushes, but not actually engage into team fights. As 4 picks up his, uh, bursty, bursty Dagon. I believe we said in a previous game that he doesn't typically like to go down the cookie cutter road of getting a Yule Scepter, and he's adding his own bit of spicy flavor on top of it with that Dagon. What do you think, guys? Like in the burst in this kind of a game? Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, I, you don't need a I, if you don't need a Yule defensively, it's great, and I don't think he does. There's no silence really. There's nothing too worrisome Ooh. that forces out the Yules. Yeah, and we're gonna see Yules Goodbye come out here. on fear, and he is just absolutely wrecked. Yeah. Dual damage coming out. Wow. A winner. Everyone came out of the woodwork for that one. Yeah. It's such an early day gone too. This puck is just massive. Yeah, and this is what they were lacking. They just needed a little bit of extra oomph, and with the day gone there, they can guarantee duels. They can push off the of picks, and they feel really good about the next bit of movement. So they've got the blade mill up now on the Legion, so more potential damage in the right situation. Yeah. And. Look, Oh, Zai, Zai very far forward. They're just no too mobile. Time. He doesn't see them I, coming until it's too late. And this kind of just looks like EG on tilt. They're just not thinking. They're not playing with their heads. And well, that's yeah. yeah I, mean, I was questioning not. how how much we'd be able to bounce back. That the the three four takedowns RTZ suffered in yep. the mid lane just was it was rough. Oh. It was like punch in the face like to start things off. Now PP gets out. Oh, yeah, that is man. absurd with the natural order. Yeah, they, they know. Yeah. They, they, they've had enough. And you know what? They probably did us a favor with this one thing. It yeah. landed so quick. Well, <laughs> we oh. could have seen a bit. It could have t quickly turned into a bloodbath with a Dagon Puck. I, I was, was looking forward to it. It was very apparent. How many this kills was going could that A road yeah. with a dead end to it. So yeah. it's better to just kind of focus, put your head into the next game, see how you can bounce back. But it's going to be match point right now for Team Secret. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Secret take a quick 2-0. Game one I thought was uh, I obviously it was obviously much closer than this one, and I think EG kind of came out looking to play, and then this game around they'll just.